Students at the Central University of Technology are up in arms demanding to be heard. They say they have not received their accommodation allowances. Some students say they are affected as a result of the institution's failure to submit data to NSFAS. They say due to this, they are unable to participate fully in their academics. Even the SRC try and address these issues with the management, but we are not given time and space to address these issues fully because they don't open a room for engagement. Even if we go to the meetings, we tell them the issues that we face. They, they don't come up with solutions. So for now, we have decided to join the student and tell the student that if they want their issues to be solved, they must go on strike because we understand that it, it's the only language that CUT management understands of striking because if they don't want to engage with us or solve student matters, then there's nothing that we can do. Former CUT SRC president President Moses Ntonyani says many students are being disadvantaged by the university. He says some are unable to get their qualifications due to the alleged incompetence of some staff members. There's issues of victimization that need to be addressed within this university. Nobody is holding nobody accountable in this university. Officials of this university are failing to do their job, leading to students repeating modules that they may have passed had they been doing their jobs. And students are failing, they are forfeiting their funding because officials of the university are not doing what they are supposed to do. Again, the management of this university is failing to hold accountable. There's no consequence management whatsoever on officials that every year, every month are continuing to disadvantage our students. The university was not immediately available for comment. It will not be the first time that the university faces a possible administration. In 2012, the Minister of Higher Education appointed an independent assessor to investigate various allegations of financial and human rights violations. The assessor recommended that the council of the university be dissolved and the administrator be appointed, among others. But the administrator was not allowed to carry out the duties and the matter was escalated to court. The court ruled in favor of the university's council. The Department of Higher Education is yet to comment. Mahalama Sitting, SABC News, Bluefontaine.